the Piper M500, unsung sibling of the Meridian family. Most of you have heard of the Piper M600. That's because that's a faster, more capable aircraft in terms of useful load. But other than that, the M500 is practically the same aircraft. Let's talk about it. The Piper M500 is the newest variant from the Meridian family. Decades ago, when Piper decided to build a six-seater that was also pressurized, came the Malibu Mirage, which was the piston version. And then years later, they decided to slap a turboprop engine on the aircraft, born the Piper Meridian. The previous Meridian was already a fine plane, but with the M500, you get a more enhanced airplane. Take this interior for example. You've got a new modern lush cabin with nice leather interior. Also, the panel is different. Take a look at the side ends here with the stowaway trays. The M500 cabin will seat up to six people with four seats in the back. And then you've got two seats for the pilot and the co-pilot. The two seats in the back face each other. It's one way to mitigate that leg room. And as mentioned, the Piper M500 is a pressurized airplane and you can fly it up to 30,000 feet. What's also new with the M500 are some modern amenities. A USB charger, for example. Charging your phones or devices, you've also got a USB-C port, several cup holders, and here in the cockpit where the magic happens, you have better technology. Now, the M500 is equipped with the G1000 NXI. It's no touch screen, but it is as advanced as you can possibly get. Before the aircraft can get too slow, the system will make the appropriate adjustments to the controls to rectify the situation. So imagine flying an airplane where it's almost impossible to stall it. Along with the underspeed protection, you also have an electronic stability protection, keeping you safe in stable flight. And get this, this ESP system will function independently of the autopilot. Couple that with the level button, go around button, and synthetic vision, you have a world-class avionics system in this aircraft. But here's the kicker. Is it worth every pretty penny you're going to shell out for the M500? Before you start thinking about price, let's talk about some of the performance numbers. Your max cruise speed in the M500 is 260 knots but expect to fly anywhere between 220 and 240 knots at high altitude. This is while only burning about 35 to 40 gallons of fuel per hour. Do keep in mind, this is a turbine engine, so you're burning Jet A. The M500 will take you 1,000 miles with fuel reserve. And as I mentioned earlier, you can fly this aircraft up to 30,000 feet. Now here's where things can get a bit dicey in the Piper M500, the useful load. The maximum takeoff weight of the M500 is 5,092 pounds, and you have a standard useful load of 1,698 pounds. You fill up those tanks, which is about 170 gallons of fuel, you would barely have room to take two to three people in this aircraft. That is to say that your useful load with full fuel would be around 670 pounds. You may be able to carry two full-grown American adults with that useful load. But if that's your main concern, here's what the stats show. Most pilots usually fly an airplane, even the M500, by themselves. So chances are, most of your missions, you would be flying by yourself. Now, let's talk about those pretty pennies. How much is the Piper M500? Currently, you can find some used models in the market for a little over $2 million. So you'd be looking between two and $2.3 million for a used model. A newer model or brand new M500 will run you anywhere from $2.5 million to closer to $3 million. While we've seen the prices of aircraft skyrocket in the last two years, you still have to ask yourself, for $2 million, what else can I get? And here's some more affordable options you may think about. The Piper Jet Prop, very close to the Piper M500. This is essentially a certified airplane that used to have a piston engine but converted into a turboprop. You would get very similar performance with the aircraft and you're probably burning less fuel per hour in the jet prop. 
if you opted for a jet prop, you'd be saving about a million dollars. Another option is the TBM 700 C2. Yes, you'd be getting a much older airplane, but also a more capable aircraft, more useful load, more speed, and you'd be saving between half a million to a million dollars. An experimental option you may consider is the Evolution aircraft. Smaller in size, you have two less seats in the Evolution, but you will get better speed and range in the Evolution. For about half a million dollars less, you can get into an Evolution aircraft. But of course, everybody's mission is different. If you are looking at an entry-level turboprop that is modern, practical, and safe, I would definitely take a hard look at the Piper M500. And if you're just starting out on your aviation journey, make sure you check out my flight school at lookupflightschool.com. can train you to get your pilot certificate either for leisure or if you choose to pursue this as a career path, we can get you from zero to commercial pilot within a year. Make sure you check us out and give us a call at lookupflightschool.com. And that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it, but also give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Thank you all so much for watching. A great way to support the channel is by becoming a subscriber, but also consider becoming a paid member and get access to all of our full content. Again, my name is Mike. Thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next video.